And welcome back everyone to my let's play of Jade Empire. And it is getting to know you with Silk Fox. Alright, tell me about your childhood. I do not remember ever being allowed to just be a child. My mother died when I was born, shortly before the end of the long drought and the fall of my uncles. I was in the care of tutors too afraid to punish me and too ingratiating to teach me anything useful. I quickly found ways to sneak away from the palace. They dared not report my excursions for fear they would be punished. They would scurry around all day trying in vain to find me. <laughs> Isn't that a dangerous thing for a young girl to do? Yes, it was. I didn't fully understand the risk and made some mistakes. But in the end, what I have become is a result of that. In the city, I met the people. The peasants, the homeless, the thieves. It was a much different world from what you see from the palace. They never realized who I was. I'm sure they would have been terrified of the army storming in to rescue me. Most just wanted to be left alone. That life was exciting, but also useful. Even Lotus assassins overlook the beggar on the street, but she still has eyes and ears. Hmm, tell me about your first love. You announce your questions like a wild animal with no warning of the claws you unleash. Proceed slowly, lest you turn me away. Alright. Tell me about your time at court. I do not like to speak about that. I try to avoid the court as much as possible. It is filled with sycophants pandering to the fancies of my father, with little or no concern to their own dignity. It is distasteful. <laughs> but I think you would do well at court. I can handle myself better than any of the fancy courtiers who attempt to match me. I know that someday the court will be mine to rule. When I succeed my father, there will be quite a cleaning out. But with Death's hand manipulating him, that day seems less and less likely. Tell me about Silk Fox. Ah, the shadow behind my public self. How else can a curious princess learn what really happens in her domain? I don't have time to interpret the veiled statements of advisors, so I became a thief, an assassin, whatever I needed to be. People will not speak to the princess. Bad news kills the messenger first. Silk Fox knows how to persuade. That is how I learned about the activities of Death's Hand. <laughs> I'm sure you find being Silk Fox exciting as well. There is a freedom in it. I have the resources to go anywhere in the secrecy to do anything. If I wished it, I could be quite carefree. But that is not what I have found in practice. Instead, I see how my father's reign has twisted, and I know I must do something. <laughs> no one notices that you're gone for this lengthy period? There are many excuses for a vain princess to retreat from sight for days, even weeks at a time. My father encourages such getaways. And if courtiers ever discovered that I was not where I said I would be, who would dare question the Heavenly Lily? Who would dare? I may eschew the formality of it, but being the daughter of the Emperor still has its privileges. Alright, we tell about your first love now. That's better. I like that you listen, although your request is still very improper. Unless you make me a little more comfortable. I have already shared something of myself. Can you tell me something about you? Is there anyone that you care for? <laughs> well, I find the sky to be quite compelling. Is that so? I do not see as much in him. But you have been distracting me. I am beginning to think that it is intentional. You are an interesting woman. I think we are very similar in some ways. Perhaps we were sisters in another life. Or perhaps we were something else. Oh, <laughs> so fuck. I begin to wonder what you want from me. Perhaps I am just too uncertain of my own nature. I live two lives and I no longer know which is truly me. You are Princess Sun Leon. That does not mean you are any less deserving of being happy. I should not be ungrateful. Everything in my life is dedicated solely to making me happy. But I am at odds with so much. I am always behind a mask. 
Not just when I am Silk Fox. I am not allowed to show an interest in politics, defending the Empire, or even spontaneous affection. Can you see the dilemma you represent? Not only is our deepening friendship prohibited by station, but by so much more. Tradition can be maintained without restraining people. As the Heavenly Lily, you can make certain of it. I have tried to make a place for myself. It was difficult, but I have succeeded, despite Death's hand or my father or what people think. But you are another matter. When I look at you, I see someone I could know better than anyone. Someone who could understand what I need. It frightens me how much you intrigue me. <laughs> oh. So tempting to say that. <laughs> Such a charmer. I can accept intriguing. I would prefer stimulating. <laughs> no doubt you would. You treat me like the foolish boys I have tossed aside in the past. I think I rather like that. You asked me about my first love. It was the Empire and its people. There might be room for another, given time and effort. How would the court react? You have the skill to be charmingly discreet, but a few people could use a shock now and then. You and I will have much to discuss after we have restored my father. I am looking forward to it. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Do not hesitate for too long. Sagacia Zoo's sudden flight has made our task somewhat more urgent. I just couldn't resist. I can't help it. She was so totally wanting me anyway. I think that's everyone's walk to. Whether she deserves me is another matter. Alright, remember what we've got to do. Right. Aha! Go back to the Scholar's Garden. Making you jealous, Sky? I do hope so. Right. I've missed the city. For everything wrong with the Empire right now, this place reminds me of what we're trying to save. <laughs> I couldn't help but be naughty with her. Please, Prevair, don't send me in there. I'm scared those things will see me before I can get into the cave. Please, don't make me do it. Wernurk apayir, kwanurk kakanir, ni usota. Mo wawir ika titarir kone of atarir. No, I will go. Please don't hurt my mother. I'll get the artifact for you, I promise. Sigir sukut af knewo kup kipsitir sunurk. I don't know who that man is, but he deserves to have something bad happen to him. We should see if there's a way we can help her. Of course. What do you want? You're working for Prevair's Shuji, aren't you? Please don't tell him I haven't gone yet. I'm going now, even though it will probably get me killed. <sighs> no. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not with the Prevair. I'm sorry, I'm just a little upset. I, I'm Jinlin. Is there something you want? I saw what happened earlier. I'd like to help you. Thanks, but I need to find a way to kill spirits. Purveyor Shuji wants me to fetch an artifact from an emperor's tomb in the necropolis, but it's filled with ghosts. The purveyor is... He threatened to sell my mom to slave traders if I don't get this artifact. I don't know what to do. I can't fight ghosts. 
Perhaps I could get rid of the ghosts for you. Really? It would be very dangerous, and I don't have anything to give you in return. Are you sure you want to do this? I can't allow you to do this on your own. Thank you. You are very kind. My father would have liked you, I think. He was brave like you are. The tomb is over in the necropolis. The door is locked, but I can sneak inside and open it. I just have to be careful not to alert the ghosts. If you really think you can get rid of the ghosts, I'll... Wernurk apayir. Kwanurk kakanir. Ni usota. No! I will go! Please don't hurt my mother! I'll get the artifact for you! I promise! I don't know who that man is, but he deserves to have something bad happen to him. We should see if there's a way we can help her. Of course. What do you want? You're working for Purveyor Shuji, aren't you? Please don't tell him I haven't gone yet. I'm going now, even though it will probably get me killed. <sighs> no. <laughs> Calm down. I'm not with the Purveyor. I'm sorry. I'm just a little upset. I I'm Jinlin. Is there something you want? I saw what happened earlier. I'd like to help you. Thanks, but... I need to find a way to kill spirits. Purveyor Shuji wants me to fetch an artifact from an emperor's tomb in the necropolis, but it's filled with ghosts. The purveyor is... He threatened to sell my mom to slave traders if I don't get this artifact. I don't know what to do. I can't fight ghosts. Perhaps I could get rid of the ghosts for you. Really? It would be very dangerous. And I don't have anything to give you in return. Are you sure you want to do this? I can't allow you to do this on your own. Thank you. You are very kind. My father would have liked you, I think. He was brave like you are. The tomb is over in the necropolis. The door is locked, but I can sneak inside and open it. I just have to be careful not to alert the ghosts. If you really think you can get rid of the ghosts, I'll head over to the tomb and wait for you there. I'll be there shortly. Great! I'll wait by the steps of the Emperor's tomb. I'm sure you'll find it easily enough. See you soon, I hope. Oh, Keep safe, little one. Right. I'll leave it there for now. When we return, we shall head back to the Scholar's Garden. Stay with me.